In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature in 3D Coat 2021 that resides in the Retapa workspace, and that is the ability to select a group of vertices that may be overlapping one another and have them welded within a certain threshold. This often occurs whenever you are trying to copy a mesh from one side of the symmetry plane to the other, and right at the symmetry line, you may have some overlapping verts. That's when you would typically find the need for such a tool. But let's look at another example with the Smart Retopo tool because as of this recording, it does not auto weld vertices on its own like the Loft tool does. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I believe I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine polygons there that I need to create. So I can set that here and I'm going to change this number. So I'm going to click and drag right along the edge. And right here, I can change the angle on the ends with this little Bezier handle. Same thing here. All right. If I want to scale the overall polygon size down, I can right click and drag left to decrease my brush size or right click and drag right to increase it, either one. And that will set the scale. Now I can just click on any one of these points and it will automatically change the scale. So, uh, yeah, let's continue here and I'll hit the enter key to commit that to polygons. I can see that we have some welding to do here. Beforehand, we would need to use the Move tool, or we could use things like the Add and Split, Points and Faces, and even Quads tool if we wanted, and then just right-click and drag. When you drag over the top of another vertex, it will automatically weld it. Let's do that now. Let's use the Move tool. Let's use the Select tool. We can choose it here or in the presets panel. Uh, I've already got a select preset chosen in vertices mode. I'll right click and drag to the right to increase my brush size and just drag over the vertices that I want to weld. And now I can right click and choose welding vertices. You can find that at the bottom of the selected section of the tool panel. So let's go ahead and do that right click weld vertices and then we have the option to adjust the tolerance level. So you can see how it creates a line in between the vertices that it anticipates we are trying to weld. So I'll hit OK. And it's as simple as that. So that's a quick look at using the weld vertices tool in 3D Coat 2021. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.